Hello and welcome to another Beehive feature update. In this video, I'm going to cover updates we've made to our segmentation engine that allow you to now create segments based on users whose email has bounced as well as users who have clicked on specific links within an email. Jumping into it, I'm going to sh show rather than tell by going to our audience tab, I'm going to go to segmentation and I'm going to create a new segment. Now I don't have much data in here, so it's not gonna show anybody like any actual users return, but I'm going to just walk through what this would look like. The first one is going to be if we go to add a measurement. So measurement is gonna be bounced. You wanna see anybody who's bounced either more than zero times or more than once one time. If you wanna show anybody who's ever bounced, which means their email was undeliverable, you can click greater than zero. Otherwise, if you know that maybe an email did bounce in the past and there's something that you couldn't do about it. You could do more than one. You can play with this to see what gives you the best results and whether users who maybe have bounced once have then received emails subsequently. But this is a good way to basically assess and make sure that users who are in your system that are not receiving emails can be cleaned or can be reached out to so that you get their correct email. That is to say, we do a cleaning on import of every email that comes into the system. However, there are cases where, for example, an email is valid when it enters, but then maybe it expires or the user switches jobs or something like that, and then it is no longer valid after they've subscribed. That would be a use case for this. The second example is for determining users who have clicked a specific link. We're going to go to email action and we're going to select the type of email that we want to look at. So in this case, it could be an email to a segment, it could be automation, it could be any. We're going to click on, for this example, any was any email that was clicked. And then if we click this refine button, we can now change and select a specific link. So we could say uh, beehive.com, for example, the link was probably actually https www.beehive.com. You can find the links that are in your emails, the exact ones by looking at the report within each post of users that clicked on a specific link. But then this will actually show you who those users are and then you could look within their history to see like when they clicked, how often they've clicked and what they've clicked on. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we can't wait to see what you build.